uh, Iran has issued uh, a, a new threat of retaliation uh, both to Israel and the US following that attack on the 26th of October uh, from Israel, which uh, saw a whole number of missiles launched in, into the Islamic Republic, killing, I think, at least five. There's been much concern about whether there would be a winding down of hostilities after that Israeli strike, which was widely anticipated. Um, it now looks that that is not going to be the case. Dr. Efrat Sofa is a security analyst and chair of the uh, Board of Advisors at the Esri Centre for Iran and Gulf States Research. She joins me now. Good morning to you, Dr. Efrat. Good morning, Matthew. Thanks for having me on. How, um, how uh, convinced are you by this, this threat that, that, that there is going to be more retaliation? We don't know where, we don't know when, and we don't know how big. Well, I think um, we, we heard from the Supreme Leader yesterday um, saying that he wants to break the teeth of the uh, Israelis and the Americans. So quite um, spicy words that he used. I think uh, it's important to take these threats very seriously. Um, especially on a date like today in the Persian calendar, it is the 13th of Aban, which has, it's the anniversary of um, when Iranian students took the, over the um, US embassy in 1979. Also on the same date, um, British soldiers were, uh, were British um, naval soldiers were taken over in 2011. So it is a bit of an anniversary. So we need to watch what the um, Iranian forces will do. We can see that the Americans have taken note of this and have sent B-52 bombers and other um, uh, defense capabilities to warn Iran that any action will be taken very seriously. On the, on the, at the same time, the Iranian army is vastly degraded. The Israeli attack really did um, render their air, defense, air defenses naked, so to speak. So what we need to watch is Iranian proxies. And in particular, one to watch here are the Iraqi militias, the Shia militias in Iraq, which have been, they were established in 89 um, on the eve of the Iran-Iraq war and have been turned against US, UK, Jordanian and now Israeli forces. So that proxy is the one to watch now that Hezbollah and Hamas have been also, also vastly degraded. It was fascinating. In the run-up to the strikes on October the 26th, the, the dialogue from commentators was that Israel was going to be shying away from potentially very explosive targets, uh, nuclear, oil and such like, and because there were fears that, that there may be retaliatory strikes from Iran towards Israel's uh, oil supplies and such like. Do you foresee that the hostilities may eventually move towards those targets? Or can this current sort of tit-for-tat retaliatory strikes remain <sighs> relatively precise? I mean, I say those words with, uh, with uh, rather uncomfortably, but I, I think you follow my gist. Definitely. I think that the um, strikes on October 26 were very, very precise, mm. but also very strategic to warn Iran that if it escalates the next move, um, will be far, far more damaging to the Iranian regime. And I think the Iranian regime understands that to a certain extent, because what we've seen inside Iran is a further crackdown on opposition. So we have seen a record high of executions, for example, 161 um, executions in October alone. And we need to look at that because the correlation between the regime's sense of threat is, is one indicator on how much it cracks down on its own people. Right. So uh, Iran is likely, it's, it's fighting for an, its existence, the Iranian regime, which is oppressing its own people and destabilizing the area. So I think the US administration has been very wise in sending further defense and strategic capabilities to warn Iran not to escalate. Excellent conversation. Thank you for that, Dr. Efrat Sofa. Really, really helpful.